There are many places in the world where innocent civilians face brutal violence at the hands of their government. You know, I'd like to help, but, you know, we've all got busy lives. <laughs> uh, the fact is, though, I feel really bad because businesses manufacture military jets and helicopter gunships with the express purpose of turning around and selling them to perpetrators of atrocities. The international arms companies are customer friendly. They'll give you a tracking number, and it means they can help you with it. Putting arms in the hands of child soldiers from North Africa to the Middle East to Burma. Repressive leaders can pump out as many bullets as possible and kill over a thousand people in a single day. It obviously is good for business. When innocent people bleed in the dirt, the wealthiest corporations make more money. Well, not anymore. I'm standing up and saying enough. Enough. I think there should be some changes. If you want to buy tanks and military assets, you should at least have to show you are not murdering innocent men, women, and children in their homes, in breadlines, and at universities. Anyone trying to buy a gun should at least have to prove that they're not a President Assad. That's just common sense. As soon as I'm finished speaking here, I will sit at that desk and I will sign an arms trade treaty to keep guns out of the hands of dangerous people all around the globe. Today, I can say with pride that when a tyrant threatens a bloodbath, the weapons of war will not say made in America. Please do something so that bad people cannot get guns to kill other people. This is not a complicated concept.